Hi guys, so I'm back with a video on the Sun Rev Revival Sale. Um, it's currently happening right now, and I believe the sale typically happens twice a year. I know it happened earlier this year already, and then seems this year it's happening sooner the second time around. Last year they had one around um, Black Friday kind of time. Just disclaimer, I bought all these bags with my own money. Um, and I have two bags from the revival sale, so one from this time around and another bag from the last one that happened in earlier in the spring. Here are the two bags that I purchased from the revival sale. Um, and so those of you who may be familiar with the brand already probably recognize these bags. They are one of they are some of their more classic designs and or bestsellers. So here on this side, I have the Midi Maestro. So this is the medium size. And here I have the Aluna, and this is in the larger size. And with the Aluna, I already have one in the chestnut. So I knew I really liked this style, um, which is why I decided to purchase the second one. All right. So with both of these bags, like I mentioned, I got them on the revival sale, on separate revival sales. I believe this one is currently available as well on this, this time around. And this one is in the mimosa leather. I don't know if you can see like the etched leather. So almost like the Epi for Louis Vuitton. Um, so it's a, I believe this leather is slightly more expensive and it is in the pilot color. So it's kind of like the navy blue. And I thought this size would be great for work, for travel, um, even as a baby bag. So for those of you who have seen other videos on my channel, you may know I have two little girls. Um, so this is great as a mommy bag or even as a diaper bag. Um, for the Aluna, this one is just in the pebbled leather, and I don't know if it's going to focus for you there. This is in the pebbled leather, and this one is in cream. So it's an off white, and you can see like my doors are white here. You can tell, um, you know, it has a slight yellowy tone, hence cream. If it's just on like my clothes against me, you might not notice it as much. So. Let's talk about the first bag. <laughs> Let's talk about the first bag that I got, which is this one right here, the midi. Um, and so when I first purchased the bag, this wasn't the style that I wanted. Um, sorry, not this leather wasn't the one that I actually wanted. I wanted the tri-color, but um, I put the order in and then they told me afterwards that it was actually sold out. And so um, they did offer like alternatives and actually offer to boost me up to a higher tier. So initially I wanted um, the bag in perfectly imperfect. So they actually have three tiers for the revival sale. And the first tier called Almost Perfect, um, which has a least discount. I don't remember the exact percentage, um, probably listed in the um, description or the details below. The second tier is perfect enough and you get more discounts. And then the last tier is perfectly imperfect. I believe that's what it's called. And that has about like a 50% discount. So initially I wanted the tri-color in perfectly imperfect. So the lowest um, tier and they didn't have it. So they offered um, to boost me up to a higher tier without any changes in the price. So um, the next tier up being almost perfect so this is the bag that i got which is almost in the almost perfect tier and honestly when i inspected the bag when i received it i did not see any issues so i'm not really sure why um you know it was like well i only paid for the um imperfectly or perfectly imperfect tier so 50 percent off which is still a good steal um, but the bag itself is actually a higher tier all right but this is what a potential almost perfect bag would look like and like yeah I didn't I can see anything wrong with it inside or outside you know um, the feet had all the stickers on actually all the metal pieces had all the stickers on still 
you know, inside was in like mint condition. And just to tell you a little bit about the revival sale, um, for those who are wondering, the bags are lightly um, used, so it might be like so from their showrooms, or um, they claim like potentially um, they loan it up for PR purposes or for like you no know, campaigns, ads, and things like that. Um, so they are not brand new out of the box, but they are still new relatively. Um, so some of them may have slight scuffs um, or discoloring, not discoloring, I guess, but, you know, maybe color transfer or pen marks or, you know, whatnot. So it really depends whether or not you mind. But yeah, this one is in perfect condition. So I was really pleased with that and, you know, saved a couple hundred there. Um, so yeah. And the concept behind the revival sale is that normally a lot of luxury brands would burn their bags or extra bags or bags with issues um, such as these, you know, slight scuffs and things like that. And it's not the greatest practice. Um, they do it to protect their brands. Sanrev doesn't believe in that. They don't think it's sustainable to do that. And, um, you know, the artisans spent so much time creating these bags, so much effort has gone into them and just burning them doesn't make sense when it's so minor like this one had nothing wrong with it right um so i really like the concept i didn't mind even if it did have any issues which this one doesn't um i didn't mind it because you know slight scuffs and things like that i thought when i use it i would probably do that to my bag myself so you get to save money you get to save this bag kind of give it another chance i'm like why not um, so that was the first bag I got from the Revival Sale. So that was a very positive experience, which is why I decided to purchase from them again, um, the Revival Sale. And so with this one is also from the lowest tier. This one is, again, perfectly imperfect. And this is 50% um, off, so about $400 off of this bag. And this is in a lighter color. So... You know, obviously purchasing it, I knew it was a lighter color, so the risk um, for possible defects may be more obvious. Um, and this one actually has, I don't know if you can see, a little dot right here. It's like a little bluish green dot. And another kind of like scruff right here. And I guess like after pointing it out to you, you would see it, but like... From a distance, it's not that noticeable, like, and it depends on the lighting. So again, I was like, all right, well, I, this one is more noticeable to me, um, but I'm okay with it as well because, you know, from everyday wear, being a lighter bag, it's already higher risk for these things anyways. Um, it's just a matter of whether I do it myself to the bag or, you know, it happened already. So, you know, again, I didn't really mind. Your cats are still attached. And yeah, it's like no issues on the inside. It even has a little, I don't know what you call that thing, for like humidity. It has a little silica beads in there still. But yeah, nothing like the leather is in great condition. Um, I actually took the stickers off here because it was enclosing with the two stickers on. But other than that, um, yeah, it didn't have any other stickers. It just had stickers on the tabs, on the metal ma magnetic tabs there. So yeah, that was a pretty good experience as well. And again, this one is a lowest tier. So knowing that if you are concerned, you can always buy a higher tier and still get savings. I know you can also use discount codes at the same time, which I did for this bag as well. I did use a discount code um, and there is a link to a discount code below. You can definitely try using that. And yeah, I got the bag pretty quickly. Um, also the other reason I wanted this bag is when I bought my chestnut, um, Aluna, the cream color wasn't available, but I know that it was available in Asia, so I wasn't sure why they didn't release it to North America. Um, but when I noticed that they had the cream color on the sale, I definitely wanted to get that one because I love white things <laughs> or off-whiteish things. Yeah, so these are the two bags. 
definitely, definitely steals, I would say. Um, the other thing is, I also always mention, you know, um, trying to shop more savvy. And for those who may be aware or who have seen my other videos, um, I also use, what is it called now? Rakuten, Rakuten. Um, and you can get some more savings that way as well. But yeah, they're great bags. This one, I believe, is made in Italy. Let me check. Yeah, this one is made in Italy. You can see it right there, made in Italy. And the smaller one of Luna. I believe all my Sunrug bags so far are made in Italy. This one, I believe, is made in Spain. This one, I don't know if you can see it, but here it says made in Spain in there you go, silver. So yeah, so this one's made in Spain. So I think for, you know, a bag made in Italy or Spain, which is known for their leather, their craftsmanship, um, you know, being able to get a discount on it, saving a bag, and for such a good cause, I think it's great. I just wanted to mention that with the revival sale purchases, um, you do get the full experience. So what that means is it comes in, you know, the typical Senrev box, um, Senrev tissue paper, Senrev um, dust bags. I just wanted to show you guys here. All right, so um, here's one of them. So I just wanted to show you. So with the Aluna, it came in this dust bag. I believe they have recently changed their dust bags. It used to be a gray color, um, and now they've changed it to this sort of tan beige color. And like I said, it did come stuffed. Um, so with the Maestra, it came with um, the older version of the dust bag, so the gray dust bag. So yeah, so you get the full experience. Honestly, besides the price difference, I mean, I didn't really notice that much of a difference otherwise in terms of experience. Um, the bag, obviously, this one is in mint condition and the other one just has like two little defects on it. Um, but yeah, otherwise, it's been great experience in purchasing from the revival sale. There are tons of bags. There are so many that I saw that I really, really like. Um, I didn't really go into the bags in detail. If you are interested in, you know, knowing more about the bags, I will be filming some more in-depth review of the bags themselves. Um, but yeah, they have so many styles and, you know, I was trying to be really good and not get too many. Um, they have a lot of cute colors as well and different, they offer different types of leather. Definitely check it out. All right, and if you like this video, please subscribe below for more videos about bags, fashion. I also do videos about cooking and childcare or parenting. All right, bye now.